Yo, what is good guys? My name is Mick Penar. We are in beautiful Barcelona, Spain, and today we are going to learn how to do the backyard. So it is super important that you know and are very good, like super good at the lard yard or gerator. It is the right in for this trick and while there are other right ins into the backyard, it's the easiest and most basic one. So yeah, start with that before you go into anything else. As with the process of most tricks, you can start by walking into this one. Get into a position with the bike behind you. If in the large yard your right hand holds the bar, you're going to switch into your left hand so the bike is completely behind you. You're facing away from the bike and the bike is facing away from you. Bend your elbow, pull the bar close to your hip and start pushing yourself off or put your foot on and start scuffing the backyard. After a couple of scuffs, give it two or three scuffs. Give it a final really strong kick to get a good bit of momentum behind the roll and pull the bar closer to you. Put the foot that was on the tire onto the other peg and try to find your balance point. At the beginning, this trick feels impossible, but don't all tricks. The more you practice it, the easier it'll get and the more you'll get comfortable with rolling in the backyard position. I would recommend that you start off with scuffing and then kicking it off rather than kicking off the floor and just going straight into a roll. It's easier to start off with and you're less likely to fall if something goes wrong. Also, after putting your foot on the peg, slightly bend your knees and be ready to balance with your hips and your core as this trick is very core intensive. It's also very important that you're in a position that is over the back axle as that is going to be your center of gravity. Your upper body will more than likely lean slightly over to counterbalance the weight of the bike behind you. Because if you think about it, it's like 10 to 15 kilos behind you while you're rolling this trick. So you need to put that weight on the other side in order to balance it out and not fall back. If you put too much weight forward, you'll probably fall forward. That's less likely to happen than you just falling back or you just jumping off the bike, but yeah. As with any trick, make sure you're comfortable falling from it and learn how to fall from this trick. So when you feel comfortable rolling in the backyard, when you're pretty confident that you have the balance point set and you're ready to move on to the ride in. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you're going to get into it by a large yard. So whatever way you ride into a large yard is up to you. You can pivot into it, you can do a half lash and then pick it up combo it with other tricks it's really up to you that's the beauty of flatland you don't have to do it one way there's all different ways that will allow you to create something of your own once you learn the necessary tricks and switches so get into it whatever way you want scuff for as long as you want and when you're ready to go into the backyard you're going to pause your foot slightly on the back tire and switch hands from the right hand into the left if you're going uh, clockwise and from the left hand to the right if you're going counterclockwise give it three and four kicks and like I said the last kick being the strongest in order to generate more speed so you can roll this trick. Bend your knees slightly and pull the bar up to your hips. When you get better at this trick, when you get the balance point absolutely dialed, uh, you'll be able to start learning how to pump this trick. You do that by doing a slight kind of weaving motion, exactly like you would just pump in on two wheels uh, in order to generate speed. It's the exact same motion. If you can pump in other tricks, you'll know how to do this. Then you bend your knees, push through your core, and as well pull the bar so the bike actually goes side to side, and that gives you the pump that you need in order to create more speed in this trick. And lean forward with your upper body in order to counterbalance the bike behind you. Okay, so onto the ride out. There are many ways to ride out of this trick. Just like any trick, what you want to do with this trick is up to you. However, the easiest way and the first way you'll probably do it is going back into the large yard. So doing exactly the reverse of what you did to ride into the backyard. So technically speaking, you'll be doing a large yard, backyard, large yard combo if you choose to ride out this way. When you lose speed or want to switch back into a large yard, put your foot back on the tire and switch your hands back and just get back into a large yard and ride out of it whatever way you want. And when you improve and get more confident with this trick, you can learn another way to ride out of it, which is just straight out of the backyard. No need to switch back into any other trick. It's a switch in itself as well. So that's also very useful if you want to combo the backyard with other tricks. You'll either start with your foot slightly off the peg, slightly on the edge, or you'll shimmy it off during the backyard. If you can pump, this will really help because the pumping motion is the same motion that you'll use to bring the bike around. So, foot is slightly off the peg, you're rolling, and you want to pull the bike around with a circular motion with your arms. So don't just pull it back towards you. You want to do a circular motion. A 
and then catch the bars. At first, you'll just slam the front wheel down. It's going to be the most simple way, but when you get better at this, you'll be able to combo it from a switch rocket manual position into any other back wheel trick. If you come up with your own way to ride out, do it. If you know the trick enough, you don't have to listen to what anyone says about how to ride in or out, you can just do your own thing. But first, you have to get out there and learn it. So, I hope you got some good tips from this video. Grab your bike and get out there and learn this trick. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you really could grab some good tips that you've been wondering about the backyard. Because I know it's a confusing trick. I know I was confused when I was first trying it. Though I think I'm confused with every trick that I try when it's new. Uh, but yeah, you eventually figure it out. So, I hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did. Comment about what how do you'd like me to do next. And I will see you in the next video. Peace! Yeah, they can't hold us back. We on another level. Yeah, it's that new age. Ain't it something special? Yeah, we gon' change the game. We gon' live forever. That new age is that new age. This is the new age. Now they wanna play cause they're tryna get paid, but they can't cause they're too late. We got stacks already making it rain. They can't afford us now. Jump on the jet switching borders now. 